sec. Uh, notable investor Ken Fisher has come under fire over comments he made at a closed door investing conference on Tuesday. The world found out about it after an attendee shot a selfie video calling Fisher's comments a true debacle and horrifying. And he then posted it on Twitter where it has more than 100,000 views. CNBC has since obtained the audio from Fisher's conversation on stage. Here are two excerpts of his remarks from the event that members in the audience said offended them. He said this interview with me, and they only ran the part that they asked me about the market. They didn't run any of the part they asked me about other stuff, because I'm kind of like an open book, but most people don't want to read it. If you can't talk about Dennis Healy, you can't really deal with the customers. I don't know if you get that or not. Going up to the woman in the bar and saying, hey, I want to talk about what's in your pants. One attendee told us she wasn't the only person there who felt uncomfortable by Fisher's comments. I really felt like it unsettled the room uh, and there was definitely on my end a certain amount of shock. I wasn't, I was very surprised. Um, I was particularly surprised when he spoke about uh, the process of getting to know a client that um, it being like getting into a girl's pants. Fisher, in a statement to CNBC, said, quote, some of the words and phrases I used during a recent conference to make certain points were clearly wrong and I shouldn't have made them. I realize this kind of language has no place in our company or industry. I sincerely apologize. Still, this is not the first time Fisher has made comments that some perceive as lewd at an event. Here's another clip obtained by CNBC from a conference in June of 2018 where he again brought up sexual innuendo when referring to the financial services industry. I mean, the, the most stupid thing you can do, which is what every mutual fund firm in the world always did, was to brag about performance uh, in, in a direct mail piece, which is a little bit like walking into a bar where you're a single guy and you want to get laid and walking up to some girl and saying, hey, you want to have sex? CNBC reached out to the conference organizer from 2018, IMN, which said, quote, we found Mr. Fisher's unexpected comments entirely inappropriate and determined afterwards he would not participate in any of our events in the future. Tiburon Strategic Advisors, which planned Tuesday's event, released a statement from its managing partner without naming names. He said that he was, quote, extremely disappointed by the comments made by one participant, which furthers the inclusion problem in the wealth and investments industry. Tiburon also announcing that the unnamed participant would not ever be invited back to the event. Fisher oversees about $100 billion in assets, and many of his clients are not publicly disclosed. However, some pension funds do list Fisher Investments as an equity manager in their annual reports. The Iowa Public Employees Retirement System told CNBC that they hold their partners to the highest standards and reserve the right to amend or sever any contract. They did not specify whether they're severing ties with Fisher, though. The Public Employees Retirement System of Mississippi told CNBC that Fisher manages about half a billion dollars about 2% of their portfolio. Executive Director Ray Higgins said they will certainly consider this matter as well as the response statement that was issued by Fisher Investments as they consider to monitor the service they provide and ultimately their performance. CNBC also reached out to other Fisher clients, including the Kansas City Public School Retirement System, Teachers Retirement System of Georgia, and Ohio Public Employees Retirement System, but have not yet heard back. It's worth noting, guys, that attendees at the Tiburon Conference on Tuesday, spent $25,000 on an annual membership, which included the event, and were told that the discussions there were confidential. And had to break that confidentiality in order to make the comments public, which mm -hmm. a number of them felt were bad enough that they should do so, and, I guess. And one might wonder at conferences like these that are confidential, what has been said and, and how long it's gone on uh, that just really hasn't come to light because of the kind of the closed door nature of these events. But these, these, these people are sophisticated individuals. And any time you say anything in a crowd of the public, you better believe that, that, that those words are either being recorded yeah. or will be repeated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially in this day and age, with uh, social absolutely. media the way it is, uh, and you, you can't. Whether it's it's marked confidential or not, things leak all the time. Even at right. the the conference itself, I think there was a sense that it w it was received very awkwardly. It's not as if it was, wow, this is what happens at these events. I think this one was quite different yeah. in, in the nature of the comments, even it's, among people you, you there at the time. You, you just, they, 
you got to choose your metaphors very carefully. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's just, just stupid. It's just it's silly. Plain I, stupid to say things like it's that. It's just silly. And offensive. But uh, what caught my attention was the response that you got, I believe, from Kansas City when they were saying they would evaluate the statement that was mm -hmm. issued by Fisher Mississippi. Investments, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and the performance. <laughs> the performance the has nothing to do with yeah. whether or not you want this man's company to manage 2% of your portfolio, I would say. That's what's so interesting. And as I was calling around to sources, asking if they've heard of any any response from investors who were in um, his funds, uh, people said, you know, look what happened with Steve Cohen. Uh, you know, he was, um, you know, under investigation for potential criminal activity at the time, and people still weren't redeeming because performance was really good. Wow. So it is interesting what the investment management industry has been able to get away with if performance is there. Um, whether that changes now, especially as these issues come to light, I think remains to be seen.